Hi guys, it's me Rebecca. So I'm here to do a May wrap up. In May I read five books in total, which is pretty good for me considering the fact I do read like one or two, maybe three books a month typically. But this month I just happened to read a lot of shorter books. Anyway, I am gonna start with the first book I finished in May, and that would be The Coilisters by Katie Hayes. This is about a girl who escapes from a small town in Washington State and ends up in the, in the Coilisters, which is like a museum and garden. She gets caught up in like terrible and yeah. It's a dark academia. <laughs> I did like this book and I think I gave it like four stars. This is gonna be a problem with wrap ups because I have a horrible memory. I don't take notes. Oh. <laughs> yep, I enjoyed that book. Second book I finished in May was The Dictionary of Lost Words by Pip Williams. I did like this. It covers a large span of time and like, I think this is only about 300 or so pages. So it just felt like things were a bit washed. I wasn't able to um, really get to know the character really well. And I didn't like it. And I should say, this is about a girl who spends um, her time in a room where her father and other like ex co rappers are collecting words and putting together the first in Oxford English Dictionary and she notices words are being left out and as she grows up she collects words uh, that would otherwise be forgotten. I did like it, but I did it was perfect. I also gave this four stars. The next book I read, I gave five stars. Grandmaster of the Monaco Division, Volume 5 by Mo, Mo Zong Tongji. I'm not sure what I can say about this, because this is Volume 5 in a very long um, novel. I'm going to say about Volume 1. Is it follows this guy named Hyuk Son who dies. He's like this grand villain of the cultivation world, which fights like monsters, ghosts, spirits, that kind of just. And then 13 years later, he is resurrected, and it's really about his adventures with him and this other guy named Lan Wanji. And this is really like the when everything is wrapping up. This specific volume is when everything is wrapping up, and there's some extra stories like about we look on and one one just like after all of these events. I love this like entire storyline, the entire grandmaster of the month, the entire grandmaster of the month duration. One of my favorite like, stories in the world. So this bring this brought me a lot of joy. I gave it five stars. Next is a popular book, um, The Midnight Library by Mahin. This is about a girl who tries to commit suicide and she ends up in this place where she has the opportunity to see like, what if she made this decision instead of that? Like, what if she made another decision? How would that affect her life? And I like some of the metaphors, like how lives like this game of chess or like a maze, but I found a lot of it like surface level, so it was quite mediocre to me personally. I gave it three stars, it was fine, but that's it, it was just fine. And the last book I finished in May was Sorry if there's an angle change or something. Um, my dad came into the kitchen and I did not want him to hear me filming. So. Anyway, last book I read in May was The Invisible Library by Jenny Cogman. 
This is like about the library that's in this alternate world, I think. I think it's more in the in, in between, sort of place between all of these alternate worlds. And it's about a girl who's trying to find a book in one of these alternate worlds. I did like this book and I think like the again descriptions of the world and other factors. I did end up giving it four stars. And I had fun with it. And, yeah. So that is all I would make. I'm again I'm not good at really summarizing what a book is about or what I like about a book. I just yeah, I like a book because I like it. I think when it comes to reading for fun, I don't really want to analyze every book I'm reading. But in order to get better at it, get better at reviewing books, I will probably have to do that. Anyway, before I go, I decided since I'm not going to make a June TBR because I'm anyway moving reader, like I have an idea of what I want to read the next. But it's not set in stone. But why now? I am reading Yellow Face by Art Wong. I'm about 40 pages into it, but I'm really liking it so far. And next, after I finish that, I will read Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman, and Finney Dolphin is Clean by uh, Cosmo. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below Tell me what you've been reading recently. If you want to, please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to follow me on any social media, then all those links are in the down bar below. I will see you guys next time I post a video. Bye.